Fort Worth West Side, what's the name of the drug you take for your blood glucose control? There are two prescription medications that I use a lot. One is metformin, one is pioglitazone. Those are both old school, they're both cheap as dirt, but there's some new drugs out there that are really great. I've got several patients that are taking them, but not as many as I'd like to see. For example, the GLP-1 agonists are really good medicines. The SGLT2 meds are really good as well. Victoza, some of the others, I think the GLP-1 agonists and the SGLT2s like Jardiance. And then they've got Ozempic. You know, one of the downsides for the GLP-1 is that they're injected. The GLP ones, they enhance insulin secretion, but it really appears that they decrease stomach emptying and they just decrease hunger. So people tend to lose weight. Anytime you lose weight, usually decrease problems with, almost anytime, decrease problems with diabetes and prediabetes. And the SGLT2 inhibitors like Jardiance, they decrease our reuptake. They impact our kidneys. Our kidneys will spill glucose, but then they have some ways of pulling glucose out of the urine and back into the blood. Well, that SGLT2 inhibitor, sodium glucose transport, that's what goes on in the tubules of the kidneys. It decreases that, so the glucose tends to just get spilled out in the urine. You know, you tend to see problems with anything. With pioglitazone, you tend to see some water weight gain. You can also get bladder cancer. With the SGLT2s, you can get some problems with yeast infection. You know, you're peeing out a lot of glucose, so you can get a yeast, very significant yeast infections. With the Victoza and the GLP-1 agonists, you can actually get some cancers and other problems associated with pancreas. So with any prescription drug, perhaps accepting metformin, clearly all those others, you can get some very serious side effects. So people run from the hills when they see that. The latter two, the SGLT2s and the GLP-1 agonists are very expensive. They just came out of the past few years. They just are still in development and they're very expensive. So that's a downside as well. Bottom line is I would not recommend taking any of these unless I had significant problems. There is one exception, as I said, metformin is dirt cheap. And a lot of people say, you know what? Take metformin for prevention. Winning is exciting, but you know what? What you're winning matters even more. How about the chance to win another couple of decades of life? healthy life, understanding the cause of heart attack, stroke, dementia, the major killers and disablers, and how to prevent those. You can win these courses to do just that. How do you do that? Click the link below, watch the video, answer the questions, and the more you answer right, the better your chances of winning. Give it a try. Win things like free courses that can save your life.